So how are you feeling about your hair? Um, it's very dry. As you can see, it's blonde, so it ends get very dry. I've got a lot of flyaways, especially when I try and style it. It's very frizzy. Um, so I'm really looking for moisture and smoothness. Um, that's what I'm looking for in my hair care products. Yeah. So your hair's highlighted? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And have you had your hair as long as that in, you, in the past? Yeah. Um, no, I've had it short before. This is the longest I've had it. And yeah. I, I do, I, like, I can style it more, I can curl it, straighten it. But because I'm using a lot more heat on it, I do find it gets a lot drier. So you're much more aware of your hair needs as it's got longer. Yeah, and I do find it gets a little brassy, a little yellowy sometimes. Mm -hmm. Well, for that, have you used a silver shampoo in your hair before? I have. I've seen silver shampoos, but I'm a little bit afraid to use them because they're quite dark, bluey purple. Yeah, so you're, yeah. you're, you're frightened of that colour. Yeah, see, that's quite scary. Yeah. yeah, if I did that in the shower, I'd be like, am I going to have purple hair when I get out of the shower? Yeah. Yeah, well I think it's really down to education and experience mm -hmm. as well and it's understanding what you and you need with your hair. Yeah. So shampooing your hair, say for instance, with that for once, once a week would be absolutely fine. It's not going to make your hair purple, okay. it's not going to make, make it too mauve. However, if you left it on for 10-20 minutes, it would do. Right. So if on a weekly basis you build up your confidence to <coughs> use um, the shampoo uh, say for one shampoo, so you might normally shampoo your hair with say like a hydrate shampoo yeah. and then your second shampoo can be the purple, mm -hmm. um, you are going to build up the confidence that you're not going to look purple. Yeah. 